to this end that men are always to pray and not to faint. <laughs> men are always to pray and not to faint. I want to also acknowledge mom the congratulation in the anniversary service. Uh, mom, that you've been here for a long time. So God bless you and hearty con congratulations to you, mom. It's all right. It's all right. Congratulations in this house for the many, many years that you have labored in this house. I think it's absolutely awesome. Once you've gone through a certain number of years, we want to celebrate with you. Amen? Men not always to pray and not what? Young people. Men not always to pray and not what? Men not always to pray and not what? Faith. Having lived as a man, Jesus walked on earth and he knew the times that we would be having in this time, 2000 and. 15. He knew we would face many distractions in our time. Have you ever seen a time where there's so much distraction on the land? No, distraction at home, distraction on the job, distraction in your relationship, distraction in church, Amen. distraction all over the place. And so he left us instructions so that we can navigate carefully and safely through this rocky terrain called life. Yes. And he instructed us that men are always to pray and not to faint. Even you, Mr. Lizard, <laughs> haven't seen one for a long time. <laughs> so he came to hear the word. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise you. Once we are aware that something is coming, it means that we have been prepared, we have been forewarned. Amen. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. In other words, then we can prepare to meet it and so defeat it. Amen. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise him. What things have been happening? Prayer on the list he has pointed out. P prayer has become seemingly forgotten about in many places. Many Christians who used to pray lots don't seem to pray. Oh, maybe it doesn't happen here. My God, that's right. Only in Canada? <laughs> no. It happens here too? Amen. Help me, Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, because prayer, it seems boring. How many Christians are honest? Can you raise your hand? That, that's a good question. I have a different way of ministering, but you got to work with me. How many Christians are honest? I, I, mommy, I looked around the place and I only saw a few hands. <laughs> Maybe we only have 10 members in the church. I don't know. We get, let, me, let, me, let me try the question again. You get, you get the question? Yes. How many Christians are honest? Honest. They're looking better. All right. Thank you. God bless you. I, I won't judge you. I won't <laughs> judge you. Thank you, Lord. Prayer has been the key to winning many battles. Yes. Mm -hmm. Prayer has become the source because a praying Christian is a powerful Christian. Oh, yes. Therefore, to not pray is to not be plugged into power. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I know that prayer doesn't sound like a hot topic. But work with me for a little bit. The Bible said that men are always to pray and not faint. If we look around us, we can see many people fainting. Oh yes. What's going on? We can see people faint. No. Do we see people fainting in the church? Spiritually fainting? They used to be they used to be active on fire for God, but they're not so anymore. True. True. I might make you jump and shout, but if I can give you some truth to strengthen you, then I'll have helped you. That's right. Praise the Lord. Praise him. What's the difference? Our mothers and fathers used to spend time praying. Hallelujah. And mommy, when you shouted out today, I received that. 
I felt that. Maybe you can't move as you want to, but your spirit is still on fire for God. That's right. Something is rooted on the inside. Somebody say prayer. prayer. What's the difference? Then we had much prayer. Today we have little prayer. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise you. Prayer seems to be have been sacrificed. What we do, we sacrifice what is the most important for what is least important. Sure. Oh, if that's the okay. case, do we spend more time on entertainment than on prayer? Oh, yes. We have a problem. I am bound, I'm bound for higher ground, seeking Him. But my pursuit is not upward, it's outward. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Prayer is that avenue where we communicate with God and He communicates with us. Prayer has power wrapped up in it to be released. Yes. Let me say then that prayer is more than the act, act of in a formation of such. Prayer you can take anywhere with you. <laughs> you can be in the airplane and you can start to pray. Yes. You can be in the ocean and you start to pray. That's right. Uh -huh. You can be in trouble and you start to pray. Oh, yes. You can be in the field and you can pray. Oh, yes. You can be, my goodness, in hot waters and you can start to pray. Yes. You can be at work and you can pray. You can be in the bathroom and you can start to pray. Oh, yes. Prayer, you can do anywhere. Can the church say prayer? Pray. My God. The scripture places Shamo. Manabo Shai. The scripture places great importance on prayer. Yes. Somebody praise him. Praise him. Because it is the antidote to sin. Yes. If we would pray, it would keep us from sinning. Yes. No. Yes. Oh God. I feel like, I feel like testifying in this house. My God. Any of you ever sinned in this house? Amen. Any honest Christians in the house? Hallelujah. Anybody ever had any near miss experience? Oh yes. Come on, talk to me. Oh yes. You, you know you should be walking straight, but, but you nearly fell off. That's right. <laughs> uh, mother. I was going about my business one day and a friend of mine introduced me to his mother. Yes. It's my friend. So introduction is safe. But when his mother saw me, she saw me. I didn't know the extent to which she saw me. So as I kept on going about, I'm help, I want to help some young people today. As I kept on going about my business, eventually we spoke and she said, I want you to train me like you train your son. I, I also do fitness training. And so I said, okay, let's talk about what we're going to do. Let's meet at the library where it's public and talk. That's safe. Yeah. It's in a public place. Yeah. She says, okay, but then she says, uh, I'll pick you up and, and, and I know a place we can just go talk. And I'm not thinking as I should be thinking. Sometimes we have the situation. And, and, and she took me and we went to a place where it was quiet. Yeah. But there wasn't anybody else there but just us. Yeah. And uh, at the time, believe it ladies and gentlemen, uh, she popped her blouse open. Yeah. And I begin to see stuff that I didn't need to see. Yeah. And she said, kiss me. And I said, no, I can't do that. Yeah. She says, there's nobody here to see. Kiss me. Kisses are so nice. I said, I bet they are, but no. Yeah. She wanted to show me more. I said, no, no, no. She wanted me to do more. She says, lay with me, in other words. Yeah. I said, listen to me. My flesh is saying yes. Yeah. 
But my soul. I am saved. Yes. I'm sanctified. Yes. Shabo. I am Holy Ghost filled. Yes. Water baptized. Yes. I got Jesus in my mind. Oh, yes. But my flesh was saying yes. My God. But my spirit. I said to her, Honey, you weren't there. This is my wife, by the way. <laughs> so I have no right hanging out with another woman. Can I preach it in this house? Amen. I said to her, I said, you know what? If I do this, I'll mess up the ministry. Yes. She didn't seem to care. I said, if I did this, it'll make my wife unhappy. She didn't seem to care. Yeah. And I continued until I said, if I did this, it would make God very upset. Yeah. It didn't seem to make a difference. And I said to her one more thing. I said, listen. I said, okay. I will go with you. If you can find me a place where God can't see me. Oh, yes. Put you at that Listen to me. It wasn't because I was so great, but because somebody was praying for me. Oh, yeah. Somebody called my name to Jesus. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. When you don't see you're going through hell, somebody is praying for you. Oh, 